What does electrical cords, dog poop, a skunk, and your food have to do in common? Up next on Yeti's Place. To find the best tips and tricks for owning a dog, especially a Samoyed, be sure to click subscribe and hit that bell notification. So we're going to work on training the leave it command. Leave it is really important to work on because you can say leave it and your dog is going to leave it alone. Oh goodness, believe me, I know this because Chewy, my late Sammy Ed, encountered two skunks, one of whom he he killed. And the smells were just, keep them away from those things. So they're enticing, super enticing to your dog. If your dog sees a skunk, of course that natural chase instinct comes into play and your dog is like, oh boy, there's an animal. I'm gonna get that animal and I'm gonna kill that animal regardless of whatever that animal does to me. Now the electrical cords, they are attractive to your dog, especially a puppy because they're hanging out around your house and your dog wants to check them out. So you wanna keep them away from that. Now Yeti and I have two treats here. We have the Zooks Minis, which are little teeny tiny treats, like the size of dog food. <laughs> And then we also have the Neutral Crunchy Treats. These are banana flavored and they're a little bit bigger. So the reason why you use little treats is because you're going to be treating your dog quite frequently while you're training. So you're going to show your dog the treat. Now, if you don't have any little treats, you can also use bacon or ham, turkey, you know, those deli meats, and you can tear little bits and pieces off of them. Now notice how intensely focused Yeti is on the treat. That's what you want your dog to do. You want them to be really focused, and you'll give your dog that treat. Now that your dog knows that you have a treat, you're going to show your dog the treat in your hand. I have one of Yeti's little neutrals in my hand. If you wanna use these same treats, the link is down below. This is not a sponsored video. You'll show your dog the treat. Yeti, leave it and you'll close your hand over the treat after you've said, leave it. And the moment they ignore that you have the treat, give them the treat. Now, if your dog lunges, you'll say no. So again, we have a little treat. We have the Zooks Mini here. Yeti, leave it. No. Good boy. Notice what I did. I showed Yeti the treat. He lunged for it, closed my hand, and I said no. The moment Yeti ignored the treat, I said, good boy, I gave him the treat. Now another part of training leave it is to leave the treat on the floor. When your dog begins to move toward the treat, you'll put your hand over the top of the treat and you'll say, leave it. I'll demonstrate. Oh, Yeti, gross, you're drooling all over me. I'm going to put the treat on my lap. Yeti, leave it. You'll say, leave it once. Good boy. <laughs> And then when they stop, when they start to leave it, you'll give them the treat and tell them good boy. Once they get good at that, you're going to do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to train it this way. Yeti, you have to leave it. Good boy. I'm gonna get out one of Yeti's Nutro treats. These are the banana flavored treats. Yeti, get out of my face. Now I'm going to put it down on the ground and Yeti, of course, is going to lunge for it right away. But I'm going to demonstrate. So you'll place the treat on the floor and say leave it just once. Don't put your hand over the treat like beforehand. And I'm pretty sure Yeti is going <laughs> to jump for the treat because he this is out of his normal realm of areas where he normally leaves things alone. But we'll give it a try. So Yeti sit. Okay, now I'm going to put the treat on the floor and I'm going to tell him leave it. We'll see what happens. Now when they hesitate or don't respond, you'll give the treat to them right away. Pet them, tell them, yes, good boy. You could also give a toy to play with. Okay, Yeti, leave it. Leave it, no, hey, of course it didn't work. <laughs> so we're going to back up one method. We'll do the method that we did before. So the, the little treat, okay, Yeti, leave it. So I'm putting my hand over the treat, leave it. Yeti is nosing me, trying to get the treat. Okay. Good boy, Yeti, good boy. When he stopped nosing me and checking for the treat, I gave him the treat right away. So now I'm gonna try this other method. Okay, Yeti, leave it. No. Leave it. Now 
Now, with this method, you'll probably have to put your hand over the treat a few times because your dog, th this takes work to train your dog to do this. Yeti, no. Hey, Yeti, leave it. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> now, when Yeti left my hand alone, he stopped nosing me, stopped licking me, and was just sitting there looking at my hand. Then I gave him the treat and I said, good boy, and I gave him a rub. And then eventually you can transition to using no treats. Now the no treats is going to take time. Please be patient with your dog and please keep working on training in this, this method. Okay, Yeti, leave it. Leave it. Oh, Yeti, sit. Now leave it. Leave it. Good boy, good boy. Why would you train your dog to just leave something alone, like the treat? Teaching them in this way will help you with transitioning to real world things, like those electrical cords, like the, the skunks, like the deer poop and the rabbit poop and the dog poop. It also helps you when you have a shoe laying there in the middle of the floor or say for example that you're in the kitchen cooking and you happen to drop a chicken bone on the floor. You don't want your dog to eat a chicken bone, so the leave it technique comes in really handy for that. Say for example that your phone rings or there's something going on in the other room and you have your food sitting on the table. You don't want your dog to jump up and grab your food, so you would tell your dog leave it and then you can go and do that other thing. That's where this technique will come in handy for you over time. Once you've transitioned from, from this treat method, the way that I'm training you to do it, and you're working into real world examples, you will still supervise your dog from a distance. You'll leave something enticing and you'll say, leave it. And then you'll walk away into a, a supervised distance area once your dog gets really good at leaving it. Once they've been a good boy and they've left that thing alone, then you'll step in with the treat and the praise. For more dog training tips and tricks, be sure to check out this video and we'll bark at you next time.